to Art is Elementary. Today, we'll learn how to draw a fruit bowl still life. Still life, a painting or drawing of an arrangement of objects, typically including fruit and flowers, and objects contrasting with these in texture, such as bowls and glassware. Here are still life paintings by famous artists, Matisse, Vermeer, Warhol, Lichtenstein, Cezanne, Van Gogh, and Picasso. All of these are examples of still life paintings. Here are examples of fruit bowl still life paintings. Please notice the variety of fruit in all of the bowls. One bowl might have a lot of different kinds of fruit, and another might have all of the same kinds of fruit. You decide what kind of fruit you want in your fruit bowl. Please note the variety of designs on these bowls. Some have little cherries, some have flowers, stripes, polka dots. There's even a bowl that's clear glass, and you can see the apples through the glass. When you make your drawing, you can make any design on your bowl that you choose. Please notice the tablecloths on all of these tables. Some are stripes, some are checks, some have squares, some have rectangles. There are so many different designs of tablecloths. You make any kind of tablecloth that you choose for your still life drawing. Here are examples of watercolor paintings by students just like you. Please look at the variety of styles and the variety of shapes. The art supplies you'll need for this project are white paper, a pencil or a sharpie, and crayons or markers. Just follow along with the video, pausing when needed, or use your imagination. Greetings boys and girls. Your project today will be a fruit bowl, that's the subject, still life, that's the kind of drawing. And we are going to be using overlapping to create depth. A still life is a little bit different than a landscape because a landscape would have a foreground, middle ground, and background. But a still life pretty much has only a foreground and maybe a middle ground. Now before we get started, I'd like to show you how to draw some of the kinds of fruit that you might consider putting in your fruit bowl. So first I'll show you how to make a simple apple. Looks like the letter M, with a curved line and then there's the stem. You can add a leaf if you want. You can add a little tic-tac-toe or hashtag sign there and, and that is the reflection of light on your shiny apple. If you were to color or paint your apple in red, you would leave the inside of that hashtag white to represent the reflected light. Another kind of apple is one that starts out like this one, but has bumps on the bottom. The thing about this apple with the bumps is some of these bumps will probably be hidden. Now I'll show you how to make a pear. To make a pear, you make a circle with an opening and then a rainbow line. There is your pear. Next, a lemon or a lime. A circle with a little opening here and here with a little bump. There is your lemon or lime. Now, a banana. A banana would have a curved line and another curved line, not so curved, leaving a little opening here and here. There you go. I'm going to show you a non-example. This is not a good banana. Let's say you made that kind of banana. I'm going to show you how to fix it by simply doing this, making an additional line 
and these lines look like part of the detail on the banana. Next, grapes made with circles that are overlapping, a cluster of grapes. Now I'll show you how to make a pineapple with an oval, diagonal lines in one direction, diagonal lines in the other direction, curve line, curve line, zigzags. And make this again, curve line, curve line, zigzags. There's your pineapple. I think I will put my fruit up here in the corner. Now, if you know of other kinds of fruit that you would like to include in your fruit bowl, I'd like you to add whatever you'd like. I just wanted to demonstrate how to draw these. So now we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is make the very top of the fruit bowl. We're going to make a straight line that goes across the middle of the, the paper right here. And we're going to, and this is a piece of printer paper. You can see I have some holes in this, this printer paper. I couldn't find any without holes, but that's fine. This will be fine because this is what I had. And that's what you're doing. You're using whatever art materials you have at your house. So we're gonna make a line, a horizontal straight line, but it will not go all the way to the edge. We're gonna leave a space, maybe three fingers on both sides. So watch, three fingers, there's a dot on this side, three fingers, and now I'm gonna connect, like so. Now this is going to be the top of my bowl. Now I'm gonna show you some different kinds of bowls. You can make a bowl that is round, you can make a bowl that has two diagonal lines and a straight line at the bottom. You can make any kind of fancy bowl you want. You can make the bottom of the bowl. This is what they call a foot on the bottom of the bowl that keeps it from rocking. And this bowl has a different kind of foot. Here's another kind of bowl. That's a fancy one. Oh, that's really fancy. You can make any kind of bowl that you choose. Here we go, let's see. I'm going to make my bowl, I think I'm just gonna make it round, and I do not want it to go all the way down here because I wanna make down at the, to the bottom of the page because I want to allow enough room for a foot. So I think I'm gonna make a little line right here in the middle of the page, like so, and make a curved line on this side, and a curved line on this side. Remember, just because I'm making a, cur a bowl that looks like that doesn't mean you must. You can make your own kind. You can even use these ideas over here, whatever you decide. Now this bowl looks like it's going to topple over once it has fruit in it because there's no foot on the bowl. So I'm gonna do this. This reminds me of parentheses. And then connect, like so. Now right now, my bowl looks like it's floating in the air. So I need to make it look like it's sitting on a table. So I'm going to make a line that goes behind the bowl. This is really great overlapping. I'll stop, lift my marker, and go to the other side. Now you can see I'm drawing with black marker, but you can draw with pencil first and erase if you need to. You can even use a black crayon. You can use whatever you have. I'm choosing a black Sharpie because that shows up really well in the recorded lesson, so that's why I'm choosing it. Now it's time to put some fruit into the bowl. Now I'm going to make the fruit, I'm not gonna make it really tiny, I'm gonna make it a good size, but you won't see all of the fruit, so watch. This is an apple. The bottom of the apple is right here, but you can't see it because it is being overlapped by this bowl, and below, Underneath the apple might be more apples that are holding that apple up. Here's my stem, two curved lines, make a leaf. I'm going to make an orange next, look. Overlapping again. Maybe this time I'll make a pear. There's that opening. And now I'm gonna make a banana, watch this. curved line and I don't want it to be close to this one I want it to flare out it's going to be close to this line up here but I want it to get this space to get wider watch you might say well where's the rest of that banana but we know the rest of the banana 
is in the bowl. You can add some details. You can even add that little sticker that you see at the grocery store. Usually bananas are in a bunch, so maybe I'll make another banana. Kind of like the way that looks. And maybe I'll make another apple. And when I color it in, paint or crayon or color pencil, perhaps I'll make this one a green apple and this one a red apple. Let's see, what other fruit have I not? Oh, I haven't made a, a lemon yet. Look at that. See the little opening? There. Now, next I'm going to make some grapes. I'm going to make them coming out of the side here. Look, that grape is being overlapped by that apple. And I'm making them hang out of the bowl. Each time the grapes overlap the next one. You can make your bunch of grapes as large as you want. And later, when you paint or color them in, you can color them in any color you want. I've seen grapes at the grocery store that are red, some are purple, some are yellow, some are green. You decide. I'm going to make that pineapple now. So most of the pineapple is going to be hidden behind the fruit. So there's my oval. Here are my diagonal lines. Now, next, I see that I need two curved lines here and here. They're like parentheses, but they go in backwards like this. And now I'm going to think of a crown, zigzags, there. And now I make a second row, curved line, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. There's my pineapple. Now I'm ready to add a design to my bowl. Hmm. I kind of like this. I'm just making this up. And that's what you'll do. You'll make up your own design. I like that. Can't wait to add color. It'll be so lovely. And maybe I'll add some lines down here. That's nice. So next, I have to think about my tablecloth. Do I want to leave it plain? Do I want to make a checkerboard tablecloth? I think I will make a checkerboard tablecloth. Let me show you how that's done. First, you make lines going across that follow the same direction as your tabletop here. Watch. Straight line, and when you get to the bowl, you stop. Lift your pen or pencil and continue on the other side. Here we go, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try my best to make the space between these lines about the same. I think I can fit one more. Oh, and uh, it almost went underneath. There. Right now, this is a striped tablecloth. That one would be kind of cool, but I told you I was going to show you how to make a checkerboard tablecloth. So now I'm going to make some lines going down, and notice I'm trying to make them the same thickness all the way across. There we go. Now, I could be finished, or I might add a window behind the fruit bowl. Watch this. The window up on the wall. This is adding even more depth to our picture because this is going to make it include a background because outside of the window, there might be a landscape with a tree, two curved lines, the letter V, the top of the tree, a cloud, a sun, a house up on the hill. Whatever you decide, you are the artist. Now, I think I'm finished. I think I'm gonna write my name right here, sign it just like an artist. Mrs. Woodleaf. So when you're done with yours, you can sign your name too. So what I would like you to do is to make your own fruit bowl. You can replay this video so that you can make the steps of the bowl and the tabletop, but add whatever fruit you decide. And when you're all finished, I'd like you to color it in for your beautiful fruit bowl 
still life masterpiece. Get started.